In this short movie we're going to take a look at one of the significant new features on ARCHICAD 15. This is a renovation tool and can be used for any renovation and refurbishment projects. What we have here is an existing building with this existing layout and what we're going to do with it is change the use of this upper floor from a training room situation to be separate office spaces. So this involves removing some items, adding in some new walls, doors and windows to make use of the new space. The first thing I've done is switch on the renovation palette and what happens because this is an existing building the status of all the elements is set for the default option which is existing status. This means we can then apply two further status types to the other items, either to be demolished or new status. First thing I'm going to have to do is physically tell Archicad which items have got to be demolished. So in the first case what I'm going to do is remove all of these items by selecting the whole group and switching these to be demolished. We can then begin with the refurbishment work. In order to see a bit more clearly what I want to do with this empty space I'm going to change the renovation filter from as it stands First of all to show the demolition items, so they're highlighted in a different colour, and then we'll switch it to after demolition so I can see the empty space. What I'm then going to do is start to renovate some of these walls and add in some additional ones. Because this is a new physical wall, we'll set its status to new status. If I highlight the new construction, we can actually see again that it is highlighted. I've physically drawn in these new walls and what I'm going to do is also select these, set these for new status, and then take these two items which are going to be removed and leave these set for to be demolished. What we can then do is switch to the final plan status so we can see the layout of the room once the changes have been completed. I'm now I'm going to change some of the other options and what I'm going to do is add some new doors. So I'm just going to select this one to match the style. I'm going to select this door and tell that to be demolished and you can see we're left with the changes in between. The final thing I'm going to do is add some windows so in the first case I'm going to pick up the properties of this window set one here this if I select we can make sure this is set for new status in fact if I switch new status on what we can then do is Find a guideline across here and place another window so that the building is symmetrical. And similarly down here, find the centre of this window and place a further window in here. As we've already shown, we can switch these filters at any point from the existing layout to show the final plan status. Or we can look at the in-between stages of demolition plan through after demolition new construction elements and then the final option of the physical plan status. With all of these options in the document menu there is actually further options where we can go in and set up the filters so we can choose what elements show, how they behave, we can actually go further and we can change the styles of either existing elements, the elements to be demolished, maybe what I'll do here is switch this to a bold magenta pen because that's not something we've used elsewhere. Um, you can see we can set up and choose what we physically override, so OK this and OK again and then switch to the demolition plan, you can now see the new colours that have been highlighted. We can also choose what fill pattern we use in the elements, the areas that to be demolished as well as all the other filter options as well. In this case I've actually set up five options, so we have existing, demolition, after demolition, new construction and a final plan status. And what these shows, if we look at the settings for the views, we now have the renovation filter applied directly to the view itself, so it's very easy to set up. The final thing we can do is take all of these views and drop them onto a piece of paper so we can show the various stages as the job progresses. The final thing we can do with these views is take them all and apply them to a piece of paper so you can see the final layout. 
If we zoom in and look at the various views, you can see how they're scaled, how they're placed. And these can be output in a normal way to PDF, DWG, whatever items. Main thing with this tool is these three buttons are the main items that control it, and we don't have to have any extra layers, views, any of the additional items you'd normally expect to control this in a manual way. So far, the feedback we've had from users is that this will save a significant amount of time in any sort of work that involves any form of refurbishment or renovation.